A former Razorback is trying to keep an eye on Arkansas, but Todd Day is very busy these days coaching a team that's on a roll. Fox 16's Josh Berry and caught up with Coach Day and has more. Show me a team that's as dialed in as Philander Smith's men's basketball. I promise you won't find too many. The Panthers are on the prowl on an 11 game win streak, 11 and one in conference play, ranked second in the Gulf Coast Athletic, and they're just getting started. Well, I think we're playing well defensively. And, you know, anytime you can come out and hold your opponents under 35 40 percent field goal shooting, it allows you, it gives you a great opportunity to win the game. Scoring at a high clip of 77 points per game, Philander leads the conference in scoring. The Panthers' fast-paced attack is credit to their conditioning. Nobody in our conference for sure is not conditioned just like us, so we never, we never get tired. And the brotherly bond they share off the court. Like yesterday as a team, we went to CC's Pizza just, just <laughs> right after practice. I feel like we all just relate in some kind of way, you know, like, at this level, you know, it's a, it's, it's a type of grit and grind that you got to get. Like everybody just, you know, got one goal and one mission. Seven-year head coach Todd Day Sr. is well known in the natural state. As the Razorbacks' all-time leading scorer and eight-year NBA veteran, he uses his knowledge of the game to guide the next generation. It was always in my blood. DNA was coach and my father was a coach, so... Obviously, I just try to follow in his footsteps. You know, we as black men always have a, a journey, so we just want to make sure that they're on the right path and, you know, I give them the good, best advice as I can give them. Winning is cool and all, but the Panthers are fueled by loss, losing the conference title to Tougaloo by one point last season and by four points in 2022. ESU only have one thing on their mind. Just make it to the national tournament. Falling short that close two years in a row to the same team, you know, that, that's just something we all thought about coming in from the summer. Even now, you know, we don't want to fall short again, so we take every game one at a time and try to win as much as we can. In Little Rock, Josh Berrien, Fox 16 Sports.